Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to the board meeting. I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit nasally and everything. I've been sick for a week, but I thought I would make a very quick video today and post this. And today's video is about my 2024 board game goal. Now, last year was the first year that I decided to have a board game goal, and that was to log 100 plays every single month, which I ended up doing, but I'm definitely not going to be doing that again this, this year because that just forced me to play more games than I was normally accustomed to. And it was, it got a little, like, I was like, oh, I got to play a couple more games before, you know, in this next couple days, even if I didn't really feel like it. So this year I'm going to do something a little bit different. This year, I am going to try to play every game that is in my collection. Now, I've got close to 700 games in the collection, give or take some, but I'm not going to force myself to play these games, but if I don't play a game, one of my games in my collection this year, I'm going to say that I have to cull it, unless for some reason there's a good excuse why it didn't come to the table. And... That's just going to make me play some of the games that are in my collections and remember why they are in my collections. And for me, like last year, I didn't play Voyages of Marco Polo, and that is one of my all-time favorite games. And I just never got to it last year. So this year, I'm, I'm forcing myself to get to these games. And if I don't, I'm going to say, hey, there's a reason why I didn't get to them. I have to, I'm going to get rid of it because it's just not coming to the table. So this this goal is just going to... Let me call my collection down into a more reasonable and have the games that in my collection that are actually coming to the table. Of course, I'm going to make some exceptions. For my, my personal game group, we tend to play medium to lightweight board games. There's a couple people in my game group that like the heavier Euros, and when I play with just them, we tend to play those types of games. But more or less, we I end up playing with my game group more, and we play the, the medium to lighter weight games. So it's harder to bring those heavier weight games to the table. Like, say, Teotihuacan, I would say, is kind of a heavier Euro-style game. It didn't come to the table last year, and it's just because it's harder to get those games to the table. So I'm going to make a couple exceptions here and there if, like, one of, the, one of my favorite games just doesn't happen to come to the table. But I know I like that game a lot. But if a if if game doesn't come to the table, I'll definitely take a look at the game and see, does this really need to be in my collection? But yeah, that's that's just going to be my board game goal for this year. It's a little bit different than last year. Do you personally, do you guys set board game goals for yourselves? I have never done that before. I know a lot of people do like 10 by 10 challenges or 20 by 5 challenges. I tend not to like the 10 by 10 challenges because I don't want to force myself to play a specific game like 10 times. Say, you know, if Ticket to Ride was on there on my list and... You know, I played it five times, and I'm like, I don't really want to play it five more times this year. I'm, I'm, I'm bored of it. You know, the monotony of that. I like to get different games to the table a lot because that's just how I am as a gamer. So I, I tend not to like the ten by ten challenges, but I know they're very popular. So yeah, just comment down below what is your board game goal for this year if you do happen to set one. Either way, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe to see more weekly content from me, Shane, at the board meeting in the future. Hope you all have an amazing day. Take care.